So now the second thing to know about humans, all right, human vision. Humans are much more sensitive to changes in what's referred to as luminance, how bright something is, than they are sensitive to what color it is. Now here's an example. Now this example may work better or worse depending upon how your monitor is set. So if you're not seeing the illusion I'm about to show you, play with your monitor. Here's two images with text on them. And in the top, the background and the text are, now I'm going to have to change color of pens. They're the same color but they're the different brightness, okay? Different, the technical term is luminance, all right? And probably all of you have no problem seeing that it says text and color without intensity differences, blah, 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 blah. fine. On the bottom, actually on the Mac monitor, I can hardly read it. On this monitor, I can read it just fine because it depends upon how each monitor, and we're gonna talk about monitors and gamuts in a little bit, how they show it. But you could have adjusted the color of the text in there so that the color became almost what's called isoilluminant, all right? So the same amount of luminance, okay, but different color. So you just basically take the, the cyan there and just make it brighter or darker. Don't change its, what we're going to learn is called the hue, the color, and you can make it go away, right? So the bottom line is that the human system is much better at dealing with differences in luminance. So these phenomena, tri tristimulus color theory, difference in luminance. This has been, uh, luminance has been known for a very long time, since the very early 1900s. So starting in the 1920s, people started doing some what are called psychophysics experiments by psychophysicists, because who else would do psychophysics besides psychophysicists, um, of basically showing people different kinds of stimuli and asking them what they see. 